MITM or man-in-the-middle attack is one in which a hacker places himself between the victim and machine which the victim is trying to access. If successful, the hacker can monitor whatever his victim is doing in the network. In this video, we will learn MITM attack deeply. From how it works to which tools are used for MITM attack, all will be covered in this video. But as a quick disclaimer, this video is only made for educational purposes. Monitoring someone without their permission is strictly prohibited. Let's say this is Bob's PC, which has an IP and MAC address as shown. Bob is connected to his home network using his router, which has the given IP and MAC address. The router is then connected to the internet, means Bob have access to any website worldwide. In normal web browsing, when Bob wants to access Google.com, his computer sends a request to his router as a packet. The router then forwards it to the web server of that website. The web server generates a response and sends it back to the router which then delivers it to Bob's computer. Before going into more depth, let's understand the concept of MAC and IP address first. Every device on the internet has two unique identifiers, its IP address and its MAC address. You're likely familiar with IP addresses, so today we'll focus on MAC addresses. A MAC address is a unique 12 character code formatted as six colon separated pairs. It's a burned in identifier on your device's network interface card and is typically not changeable. However, it can be spoofed. Spoofing refers to copying and using the the MAC address of another device on the same network. This concept of spoofing can be exploited by hackers to perform a man-in-the-middle attack. Let's revisit our previous example of Bob's network. Imagine there's another person on the network, a hacker, who can spoof IP addresses and, more importantly in this case, MAC addresses. By spoofing the MAC address of Bob's router, the hacker can position themselves in the middle of network communication. This means all requests and responses will now flow through the hacker's device instead of the router. This allows the hacker to potentially intercept and see sensitive data traveling on the network. And this is how MITM attacks are performed. It also has some drawbacks which will be covered later in this video. By the way, if you are finding this video useful, please have a subscribe and don't forget to smash the like button. Now let's see which tools in our Kali Linux can be used for MITM attack. While there are several options available, BetterCap and Etacap are two popular choices. Let's switch to our computer screen for a quick look at the BetterCap interface. As a reminder, this video provides an overview, not step-by-step -step instructions on using the tool. Here you can see how BetterCap captures network traffic. It offers various features including ARP spoofing, network sniffing and even some functionalities for Wi-Fi penetration testing. BetterCap is a versatile tool with a wide range of capabilities. There are many types of MITM. We will discuss only a few of them here. First is email hijacking. Attackers gain access to a user's email account and watch transactions to and from the account. When the time is right, for instance, the user is exchanging funds with another party. The attacker takes advantage of the situation by attempting to intercept the funds by spoofing one or all members of the conversation. Another type of MITM is Wi-Fi eavesdropping. A passive way to deploy MITM attacks, Wi-Fi eavesdropping involves cyber hackers setting up public Wi-Fi connections, typically with an unsuspecting name, and gain access to their victims as soon as they connect to the malicious Wi-Fi. The third type of MITM attack is DNS spoofing. The attacker engages in DNS spoofing by altering a website's address record within a DNS server. A victim unknowingly visits the fake site and the attacker will attempt to steal their information. Last on our list is IP spoofing. Similar to DNS spoofing, IP spoofing sees an attacker attempt to divert traffic to a fraudulent website with malicious intent. Instead of spoofing the website's address record, the attacker disguises an IP address. But how can we protect ourselves against MITM attacks? All right, the answer is simple. Use the HTTPS website instead of HTTP because HTTP websites are less secure. If you log in or enter credentials in HTTP websites, they can be captured in plain text. Make your network secure and use strong passwords for your accounts. Also, don't share your Wi-Fi password with any stranger. These are the few tips to protect against MITM attacks. All right, everyone, that's all we have for you today. Please subscribe to this channel for watching more cybersecurity and ethical hacking content like this. And also, don't forget to like. Thank you for watching.